Hey, this is Andrea Dela Cruz with Kalispell Auto Group, and today we're going to go over how to check your washer fluid and change out those wiper blades. All right. Some people like to know when do they need to replace their wipers. Um, my suggestion is usually I replace them every time it starts to rain every year. But if you're not like me and you want to know when is a good time, when you use your wipers and if you can tell at all, you'll get streaks in the windshield where it's not a smooth, clean flow all the way across. This is usually when those blades are starting to dry out and it's about time to replace them. By the time your wipers are done going back and forth, you want to be able to have as clean as possible on that windshield where there's absolutely no streaks, no lines, nothing at all. And then once it comes completely clear, you know you're good to go. All right, in order to change out your wiper blades, most of them come right up like this. If for whatever reason you go to lift up your arm and it hits the top of your hood or the back side of your hood to avoid chipping any of that paint, I do recommend you call your whichever service advisor you have, whichever dealership you want to head over to, and they can go ahead and show you the tricks to get it up without scratching up that paint. For this particular model, it's a GMC truck. This little tab right here, you can get a small screwdriver, lift underneath it, and that'll open right up. Once it opens up, you can slide it down and they come right out. So as you can tell, this here is your locking. So once it's on, that clips down and it keeps the wipers in place. To release it, just get underneath it, to lift it open and then you can go ahead and take care of it. To put them back, you just reverse that process. This one happens to slide right in. Once you're in, slide it up towards the top all the way forward and then you make sure that that snapped down. Trick to it is always to hang on to this as you're lowering it. You don't want it to slam down, especially like this truck if it's got a brand new windshield. Most of you have all seen that sign on your uh, dash when you start running out of wiper fluid. Looks like a little windshield squirt coming straight up out of the middle of it. That is the same sign you're gonna look for underneath your vehicle. Some cars have a blue lid, some like this Chevy have a black lid, but all you gotta do is anytime you see that, go ahead and lift it open and you're gonna pour your washer fluid right in there. Because we live in Montana, I am gonna recommend that we don't use anything that will freeze. Most all auto parts stores and or your dealership will be able to get you some non-freezing uh, washer fluid there for you. All right, so when you go ahead and top it off, just make sure you use something similar to this, which is your 20 below. That way it's not gonna freeze on you in the winter time. There's nothing worse than trying to use your wipers in the snow and uh, it doesn't work. All right, well with that being said, y'all know how to, what that light means now on your dash when it starts flashing at you and saying washer low. You know what type or at least what kind of washer fluid you wanna put up here from Montana. You know where to look in order to fill your washer reservoir. And um, depending on your vehicle, you'll probably know how to go ahead and change out those wiper blades as well. If you have any questions or problems, you can always call one of your local services advisors, either one of the dealerships. You got Kalispell Toyota, Kalispell Ford, and Kalispell Volkswagen. See you guys next time.